Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to talk about Sawgrass Creative Studio. When you purchase a Sawgrass printer, you get access to their software. So when you download the software, you'll get Sawgrass Print Manager as well as Sawgrass Creative Studio. I did an entire other video on Sawgrass Print Manager. You can head there and take a look at that. So Sawgrass Print Manager is what you would use to print out of any program or just to print a JPEG file, a picture file, really quickly. Now, if you wanna get more advanced and do things like design or fit your images to templates, you might just want Sawgrass Creative Studio. It's a pretty simple program and it works in conjunction with your Sawgrass printer. So we're gonna dive into Sawgrass Creative Studio, see how to use it, make a few designs, print something, and then at the end, we'll talk about whether or not you need Sawgrass Creative Studio. Now portions of the Creative Studio are free and other portions are paid and there's a monthly fee to access those. So do you need those premium features or not? Let's take a look inside Sawgrass Creative Studio first. This is Sawgrass Creative Studio. So when you download the Sawgrass Print Manager, Creative Studio comes with it. You do, however, need an internet connection to use Sawgrass Creative Studio. When you open it up, it will look like this. If you don't have a premium membership, it may prompt you to upgrade and you can upgrade if you would like, but you do not have to. So there are free and paid things within Sawgrass Creative Studio. You can scroll down and see some different projects, get some inspiration. If you like any of these and want to make them, you would just click make it. You would get a little more information about the project, materials, pressing guide, and it will tell you where to get the designs. So you would just follow these instructions exactly to make those projects. Over here on the left, you'll have start creating, creations, galleries, and favorites. So these are all specific to your account. But if you don't want to make something that is shown as your example projects, you can just click start creating and print anything out of Sawgrass Creative Studio. First, let's talk about the blank option. So they have blank products over here on the left and they have a variety of blanks. So you can see there's a wide variety of blanks. Let's use one of these as an example. So let's say I have some drinkware. There are a variety of brands, sizes, and types of drinkware that you can choose from. So you can scroll through by using the page numbers or you could search for something. So let's say I had a 15 ounce mug, I could search 15 ounce mug. Here's an example of one, so let's click on that. And we can see where the product came from. We can see what the dimensions are and what the print area is plus some instructions so I can see what time and temperature that are recommended as well as a pressure. So now what are we gonna put on our mug? We have quite a few options. So first we picked our blank. The second thing is creations and those are things that you have saved. We could go to designs and we can see designs that are in Creative Studio. If they have the premium logo, you only get those with the premium subscription, but you can see that there are some Christmas designs, for example, here that don't have premium right now, so they're free. So I could choose one of these if I wanted to put these on my mug. So let's say I wanted to put this on my mug, so let's pick it. So first of all, it comes over and each of these elements are separate. We could select all, we could move it to the side, we could resize it if we did not like how large it was, we could resize it, move it around, and from here, as we resize and move it around, we could even duplicate it. So you would select all and click duplicate. Then for each of these things, you can also alter them. So if I clicked this, I could change the text to something different. I could change the colors. So maybe I did not like this pink color. I could go to fill and I could choose a maybe a different pink. And then maybe I want to get rid of the square behind this one. I could delete it. And then I could resize the square on this one where it fit over my entire design. And you might need to, if you can see that I can't see my ivy anymore on this one, you may need to send it backwards to get everything to come to the front. And then we can just kind of move everything around and get our design exactly how we wanted it to make them up. For each of these, you could also alter it other ways. So you could change the size of the text. You could rotate it, make an arc, make a stroke around it. There are tons of things that you can do within Sawgrass Creative Studio to change the designs that are already in here, or you can upload your own designs. So let's go back to designs, my designs, and this is where you would upload a PSD file. 
which would be a design file. Now, what if you just had a picture that you wanted to upload? Go to Galleries, My Images, and here you can upload a ping, JPEG, or SVG file. And here I uploaded the other day, I was playing with this and uploaded a shoe, but you can upload any image just by picking it on your computer. So I just uploaded this gallery print and I can click save. So now I've uploaded that to my gallery. So let's make a different design. So we'll click start new. It's gonna make the same thing we were working on, which was a mug, but let's change this to a different blank as a different example. Let's say I want to make a keychain, so I can click key rings. I can pick the key ring that corresponds to what I have, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. And then I can go to galleries and use my images. And I can use that background I just uploaded. And I can resize this, move it around, get it just like I want it. And then maybe I could add some text. Now for text, you're gonna have Creative Studio fonts. If you want to use your own fonts, you will need to upload those. You would go to Uploaded, and then you would click Upload Font and upload either your TTF or OTF files. For this example, I'm gonna use a Creative Studio font. So we'll click the font, and then over here, we can type a name, let's say. We can change the size by pulling it out or by changing the size here. We could select the fill color and we could change the fill color to something different. We could rotate this. We could do an arc. We can add a stroke and we can change the color of that stroke. So let's say we wanted to change it to something that looks like that. There's also tons of effects. So you can play around with these, choose different ones, but let's just pick one of these and then you can see that it really pops off the page with that high contrast. So you could play around with those. You could also add elements. So first of all, we've went through designs. Elements are just individual little pieces that you might add to your keychain. Again, some of these will be free and then some will be with your premium subscription. So let's say for this keychain, I wanted to add a flower. I could pick whatever flower I wanted to add, resize it. I can click clear white to remove the background of the image. And so you just want to point at the background you want to remove. So I want to remove all that white and there's just a little bit left. Let's go ahead and get that. That looks good. So I'll click save so you can remove the background of images. And this would also be for something you uploaded. You could do the same thing. I'm just using something that's already in the Sawgrass Creative Studio. I could flip this, I could move it around, I could scale it up and down, I could rotate it if I would like to. Again, there's so many different things that you could do with this. So I think you can begin to see all the things that you can do with this. Across the top, a few options, you can turn the grid on if you need that to align things. You can turn the guidelines on or off. And so the guidelines would be how big you wanna make your image just to be safe. So you could go out a little bit beyond this to give yourself a little extra space when locating your sublimation print on your keychain in this case. Select all will select everything, undo, and of course trash will remove it. You can save whatever you've created. You can download what you've created. So you could download it as a ping, as a SVG file, and upload it other places. You could share prints. If what you made is from designs in Creative Studio, you could share it with other people. And of course, you can print it. Okay, so let's say that I like this keychain design. I'm gonna print it. Let's see how to print out of Sawgrass Creative Studio. So we can click print. You always want to mirror. And let's say that I have several keychains that I want to make. So let's make six copies of this. So I'm going to choose acrylic because let's say it's an acrylic keychain. I have Trupix classic paper. This is my printer. I always want to print high quality. And you could turn on a color palette if you had one and then we can click print. Then you will get this message that the print has been successfully queued. You can go ahead and click okay, and it will pull up Sawgrass Print Manager. As you can see, it's printing on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It has made six of my prints and put them all on one sheet of paper for me. I could go over here to layout and I could uncheck the center button to save a little bit of my paper if I wanted to. Just make sure that the impose margin button is checked so it does not print off the side over here or off the top. From here, I could change any of my settings. So I do have another video on Sawgrass Print Manager that shows what all these settings do. And I will link to that in the description below this video. So if you wanted to alter that, you could at this point. 
or I could even add other jobs and I show how to do that in that video so I could add other jobs here to fill up the rest of this paper if I wanted to and then I would just click print to go ahead and print the page. So one more thing I did not show you within Zawgrass Creative Studio. If you have a blank you can't find in the blank products, you can make a custom canvas. A custom canvas can't be saved, but you can make a canvas any size you would like. So let's say that I have an eight by 10 piece of metal to make a sign. I can click create here. And now because I did not click start new, it brought my design with it. I can do start new at this point and do the custom canvas and make a blank canvas or you can change the canvas in the middle of the design either way you want to do it. But this way you can make canvases in any size you would like. But I must say they have a ton of blank products with templates already loaded so you don't have to worry about this as much. All right so now I have my print. Again I could have used print manager to fill this up. I could have went back to creative studio added more copies. There are tons of things you can do if you don't want to waste any of your paper with the Sawgrass programs which I really do like. Now, do you need the premium subscription? So first of all, I do have a coupon code for your first month of Sawgrass Creative Studio. So if you're looking to do that, be sure to head to the description below, click my link and use the coupon code for the first month to get a discount. Sawgrass Creative Studio has a free option as well as a paid option. If you want to sign up for the paid option, you go to sawgrassinc.com and click premium and then get premium. Then click become a member. You can become a monthly member or an annual member and I do have a coupon code for your first month if you would like to use that and I will drop that in the description below this video. So if you are on computer, scroll down and click show more below the video. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. Now, do you need it? The, what I always tell people is to try first and then decide if you wanna buy. So you can download Sawgrass Creative Studio. You can start playing with it. You can use the free designs. You can use the free images. You can use like the free backgrounds, whatever you would like to use, all the freebies. And then as you get into it, you really like Sawgrass Creative Studio and you see other designs maybe popping up that you would love to use, but they're part of the premium subscription. At that point, I would go ahead and pay for a month. Give it a try. Do you like it? Do you use it enough to justify the cost? If you do, sign up for the annual subscription, save a little bit of money. But I always say to give things a try because not everyone needs a subscription to Sawgrass Creative Studio. You might need it, you might not. And the only real way to find out is to use it. So you might fall into either one. So you might need it, you might not. Whichever one you fall into is fine. However, it is an amazing program to use with your Sawgrass printer, regardless if you pay for the premium subscription or not. So hopefully that helps you know how to use Sawgrass Creative Studio and know if you need to pay that monthly fee. So hopefully this helped. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about Sawgrass Creative Studio, drop down the comment section, ask away. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.